Oh, now? Okay. So that's a kidney. And we got the outermost surface is the uh, renal capsule that covered the entire kidneys. So when you chop a kidney, you see that that section right there, the superficial section. Those are the renal cortex. The renal cortex are where you can find all the uh, uh, renal cover cells. Those dot right there represent for the renal uh, cover cells. And when you go deeper, the deeper layers are the renal medulla. That has the uh, medulla pyramid. One here, one here, one here. One kidney can have up to about 10 renal uh, pyramids. And in between the pyramids, we got the extension from the cortex down into the medulla. Those are the, uh, the renal columns. Okay, here, each pyramid will have the uh, tip, we call that is the renal papilla. And the papilla will get into the minor calyx. And each pyramid we have one minor calyx. And all the mi minor calyxes will get into the major calyx right here. And the major one will get into the uh, renal pelvis and the ureter. Okay, and then when you get through the vascular supply for the kidney, we starting out with the renal artery. When it gets through the uh, renal helix, it branches up into the segmental artery right there, going to a different direction. And the segmental, we get into in between the pyramids, we call that is the interloper arteries. So come over here, again, in between the pyramids, is the interloper arteries. When it get into the base of the pyramid, it turns into the arcuate arteries. And arcuate arteries will go straight upward into the cortical radial arteries. And from there, it will turn into the apron arterioles. And from here, it will get into the columnarulus. This is where the filtration happens. And columnarulus is a capillary network. And it's covered by the, the cell, we call that type of cell as a podocyte. Start with a P. And when the blood flow through that whole capillaries, it get back into the efferent arterioles. And then it turns back into the, um, what was that called? It doesn't show here. Okay. Okay, that one in here is the interlocular vein that will drain into the arcuate veins at the base of the pyramid and eventually arcuate will turn into the interlopar vein and then go out here into the renal vein and in the vein cava as we all know <coughs> so come over here uh, we have this whole structure it's a renal cover cell um, that includes a parietal layer visceral layers right here covered by the podocyte cells and this side we have the proximal convoluted tubule or PCT and on this side we have the distal convoluted tubule or DCT and that's the uh, glomerulus as we all know and the space right here is a capsular space so when the fluid flow through it the stuff we push out become the filtrate, get into the capsule space, and then get into the PCT. And this junction right here, we got the uh, an apparatus that include the macro denser and the juxta glomerular cells. Together, they maintain your blood pressure, glucose level, and the iron level, in which you learn more in physiology. Oh, hold up. On this side, uh, they try to show the nephrons, and you can see that that's a cortical nephron type. You can see how the lumen hemli is short. On this side, I show you the juxtaposed medullary, medullary um, nephron, and with the long lumen hemli, and that shows the um, descending limb, and that's the ascending limb that go up, and that is a collecting duct that drains the ureter into the renal papilla and get into the minor calyx, major calyx, renal pelvis, ureter.